Hey everyone, I hope you all having an amazing day. In this video we will be learning about how to create twist to transition effect in Premiere Pro. Creating this effect is super easy. Let's take a look at what we are going to create. That looks super awesome. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create new project. I will name it as Twister Effect. Click OK. We will import our stock footage by dragging it to our project panel, like this. Drag it to the timeline panel to create a new sequence based on the footage settings. Now we have this beautiful footage. Take the time indicator to where you want your transition to happen. For me I will cut the video where it shifts from one place to another. Press C on your keyboard to bring the razor tool. But before cutting the video I will delete the audio since it's no use for us. Right click on the footage and select unlink. It will separate our audio from video. Now select the audio and press backspace to delete it. Now again press C on your keyboard to bring the razor tool and cut the video. Let's begin creating the twister effect. Click on this new item icon and select adjustment layer. Click OK. Click on the text to edit it, I will name it as mirror. Place this adjustment layer above our stock footage like this. Hold Alt and use the scroll to zoom in on the timeline. Now make sure the indicator is at the cut. We will use this adjustment layer for our twist transition effect. We will use this layer for only 10 frames. Press the left arrow key 5 times to move the indicator to the left 5 frames. Press C on your keyboard to bring the razor tool and cut it. Again place the indicator at where the cut is. Press the right arrow key 5 times to move the indicator to the right 5 frames. And cut it again. Now press V on your keyboard to bring the move tool and delete the unwanted parts. Now we have our adjustment layer for 10 frames only. Go to the effects panel and type in replicate. Drag the replicate effect under stylize folder, to our adjustment layer. Go to effects control panel. Here we have our replicate effect. We will change the count to 3. That means 3 replication for 3 rows. Again go to effects panel and type in mirror. Drag the mirror effect under distort folder to our adjustment layer. In the effects control panel change the reflection angle to 90 degree. Use the reflection center to align our footage. Again drag the mirror effect to our adjustment layer. This time change the reflection angle to minus 90 degree and center the footage.
drag the mirror effect one last time and change the angle to 180 degree. And again align our footage using reflection center. That looks good. Now create new adjustment layer. Click OK. And I will name it as twist. Place the twist adjustment layer above our mirror layer. Press C to bring the razor tool and cut the layer exactly where our mirror layer is. Delete the unwanted cuts. Now go to effects panel type in transform. Drag the transform effect under the distort folder to our twist layer. Go to effects control panel and change the shutter angle from 0 to 360. By doing this we are able to create that blur effect during the transition. Uncheck the use composition shutter angle. Change the size to 300 or increase the size until your footage comes in the center. Place the indicator at the beginning of the layer and keyframe the size. Place the indicator at the center of the layer and increase the size to 800. Then place it at the end and bring the size back to 300. This will give us the zoom in and zoom out effect. Again place the indicator at the beginning of the layer and keyframe the rotation. Place the indicator at the end and change the rotation to 360 since we want our transition to rotate in the clockwise direction. If you want your twist to transition to rotate on anti-clockwise change the rotation to minus 360. Shift select the rotation keyframe and right click on it. Then select busier option. This will give us that smooth start and end rotation. We now created our twist to transition. Let's play it. Since the shutter angle will use high amount of memory of our system we can't RAM preview it right away. Unless if you have a good PC with higher GPU. For now we will render it before previewing it. Place the indicator at the start. Then press I on your keyboard to mark the in point. Place the indicator at the end and press O to mark the out point. By marking the in and out point, we can able to render that marked place only. Go to sequence and select render in and out option. This will render our marked footage. It's now rendered. Right click on it and select clear in and out. Now let's play it. That looks super good. We created the twisted transition. You can decrease the shutter angle from 200 to 300 to get that smooth transition. We will add it to our other parts of the footage. Cut the footage where you want your transition to happen, or press M on your keyboard to mark that place using marker. Select both layers and by holding ALT drag it and place it at the center of the cut. Do that same to all the cuts. Now let's play it again. We finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any doubts please feel free to comment in the comment section. I will be more than happy to help you. Please hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next video stay happy. Thank you.